Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today, new device at my desktop. Uh, this is how it's packed. So let's jump to the device itself. This is little pocket oscilloscope, 10 megahertz uh, analog bandwidth with uh, 48 mega samples rate beside or B, B side or whatever is correct spelling would be OT2 model so only one channel there are versions with two channels and so it, I, I selected only one channel what you see now is uh, price of it on AliExpress. I will link it down. However, uh, I when I ordered it, it was uh, 21 euros. Shipping 3, uh, 3 euros. It depends, uh, of course, from where you ordering it. If you ordering it, uh, shipping can vary. Uh, I had issue with this device. It didn't work at all. When I ordered it, so I reported it to AliExpress. Bad thing was uh, they did not respond in time frame. AliExpress uh, left for response and after time frame uh, for response expired, AliExpress uh, refunded me fully. So actually then that means I got it for free. However, I managed to fix it. All problems with this device was uh, in its power supply. Uh, there was one the coupling capacitor uh, which was broken and was leaking and uh, caused battery to be empty to zero. So battery was damaged fully. It couldn't be charged. And uh, PCB trace main uh, power plus was broken somehow i have no idea how that happened so when i powered it even uh, through the usb uh, i received uh, nothing no power on nothing i recorded all of that sent video and sweat to, uh, to aliexpress and managed to refund it so after i fixed it now as you can see it's powering on and it working so oscilloscope how i will test it here on the screen now in left part of the screen is my main oscilloscope already hooked to you can see that let me zoom out here is my main oscilloscope hooked to the it's Huntec 1070 I don't have anything better hook it to my signal generator and here we will hook like this to to the side now you can see I will again zoom to both side if you don't mind to see it better for you. And we'll keep it like this in with uh, in pack I ordered you get USB-C cable and this BNC to crocodile uh, clips cable. I didn't uh, order it pack with uh, oscilloscope probe. Um, because I don't need, I have too many of them, so truly I don't need. However, this is uh, now how you see uh, signal, same signal like let's, you see, 1 megahertz, uh, both say, I think both measuring same, so uh, voltage output my signal generator says it's 5 volt, but uh, both oscilloscope says it's 4.8 volts, so it could be uh, some loss uh, on cabling, I don't know, I'm not sure, so 
So let's see how it will go with uh, sine wave. Later we will see how it detects all waves. Uh, let go like 5 for now, 5 megahertz. It catching a uh, sine wave of 5, 5 megahertz hertz very well. Let me adjust here so because I will go higher. So 5 megahertz, let's go higher. 8 megahertz. This uh, automatic setup button, uh, it's really annoying. It does not catch uh, every time I press it. I don't know why. So, at this point, uh, we have some volt. It's showing 4.45 for 50 volts peak to peak. Uh, however, uh, Huntek does not show any voltage loss. It's still on the same level, uh, 4.7, 4.8. Uh, 8 megahertz, Huntek as well, 8 megahertz, uh, maybe. I need to. They declared it like uh, 10 megahertz. Uh, signal is not so stable as you can see, but uh, for me it's okay. It Huntek managing to catch uh, that varying, uh, that uh, change in frequency which coming. Uh, this shaking can be from cabling. No problem at all. So, but look at now. Huntex stay, stay, stay on same, but look at the 10 megahertz. Look at how it shake. And you see, it click, but uh, it doesn't catch. So I can't adjust uh, any. <laughs> That uh, 100 nanoseconds is maximum. While I can go Hunter go, let's see how Hunter will see the signal on 100 nanoseconds. There is some uh, disintegration in signal, and uh, you can see Hunter how we see, but. Uh, it's not even close to this much of shaking, as you can see here. So I think this oscilloscope is declared as 10 megahertz. Uh, I I would say it's uh, 8 megahertz, because on 8 megahertz uh, it's readable signal. But uh, let's go down to one megahertz so let me uh, let's go to square while Huntek uh, showing a clear squ square wave as you can see look at distortion in the signal here this one on one megahertz if I go pulse Square pulse, no change. I don't know what is pulse at all. Uh, this one is okay, same, very stable. This is uh, like partial sign. I would say it's a full sign. Wave. I have no idea what what they mean uh, with this. CMOS signal, signal, let me just uh, take it down and trigger it, so you see, CMOS signal, let me go to uh, flat DC voltage, half wave, 
full wave stairs uh, stairs again but from other side noise Uh, exponential uh, rising still uh, this have some issue with signal you see uh, exponential uh, decoy multitone Signal uh, what this signal would be sign I don't know Lawrence third they say it coming with signal generator signal generator is uh, here it's used uh, these two pins it's used uh, to set up your probe if you're using probe uh, and nothing more it uh, it output signal of one kilohertz and uh, square wave wave and uh, there is nothing about I wouldn't call it signal generator they say two in one device uh, and uh, calling that signal generator it's not that is not signal that is usual thing you getting on oscilloscopes for setting up probe correctly if it's undershoot or overshoot so at the end do I recommend this many uh, pocket oscilloscope of course I do even it uh, does not reaching uh, full declared bandwidth of uh, 10 megahertz it's working just fine up to 8 megahertz and uh, that is quite enough for uh, such a small device and at such a cheap price Truly, I doubt you can buy something much better or even at all better for the same price. And but if you da if you add a little more, like ten US dollars more, you can buy one better device than this one and uh, i left that for next video so thank you for watching and see you soon with next video bye bye mm -hmm.